First question, who is your beloved? You people, you create problems for your own self. Then when we are telling you the truth, then you begin to feel uneasy. Who is your beloved? Listen, in a relationship, if you find somebody and you are getting confused, you have to report yourself. And in reporting yourself, you have the liberty to withdraw yourself and pray and take your final decision. Don't be tied to somebody when you think you have met another person. That to you, you think this one is the right person. Don't be tied to the old person. You will regret in the future. Many people have gone that way and have been involved in extramarital affairs. Please listen to what I'm telling you. If you are in a relationship now, don't promise anybody marriage in a relationship. Relationship is not marriage. You are confusing too many things. That is why my answer to you has become something to you that is making you to freeze. Listen. I'm going out with Pastor Brenda. We are not married. Parents are not involved. We met in church. Now, Pastor Brenda, I like her as a friend. We go on a date. Now we come to a place. I think I want to take this relationship serious. I involve pastors and parents. You have brought yourself under an oath for that submission. In that submission, it is not a covenant. You have met another person. Please, every mature person in this world who is a mother, a father, will understand what I'm telling you. You have met, so, Pastor Brenda is somebody I'm going out with. His father is Pastor Reginald. And now, we have gone to see Pastor Brenda's father. Not about marriage. Friends, listen, that to us, we are in a relationship. Your father is not thinking this is the man you will marry. Your father only has a thought that you have a special friend who may marry you. Because when you go with this woman to meet this man, they wouldn't say marriage. And they will not even talk about marriage. They will ask you, where is your father? Where does your mother come from? And what are you doing? And what work? It is not about marriage. Oh, okay. You are always welcome to this house. It ends. Then you too. You also go and introduce him to your father. It's the same thing that's happening here. From time to time, some parents will be asking about the relationship. Others will never ask because there is no marriage here. So the two of you are only willingly submitted to each other and to parents. The day you find yourself drawing close to another lady, it simply means that you will have to withdraw and let this lady know that this relationship, I want to consider it prayerfully again. If you are friends, what do I lose if you want to consider a relationship prayerfully again? That is why if you are going out with a guy for more than two years and he's not serious, start asking him, are we going to get married? Because you cannot waste my time. Three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years. Listen, as the years go by in a relationship, there is only one thing that should convince you that the conviction grows stronger. If years are going by, two years, three years, and the conviction is not strong, break up. It is not good to hang in there. The guy will waste your time. The lady is wasting your time. Break up. Pastor Obed, always a blessing.